Hello folks, so it was exactly one year today on May 20th, 2010 that I uploaded my first battle to YouTube. It was a friend battle with one of the only two teams that I had at the time. It was the first team that I'd ever put together for competitive purposes and I'm not ashamed to say that I got massacred. Uh, so exactly one year later um, I have decided to re-upload the battle um, with a new narration, new commentary, um, new soundtrack, uh, because there was no soundtrack on the old one, um, because the, the video recorder was so bad at the time, um, it couldn't handle the audio without really sounding awful. So I'm putting it all together, showing it to you guys, just kind of as a retrospective to see just how far I've come. I won't be talking about the battle as much, it'll just be reminiscing about the glory days, the old days, the awful days, when I had, you know, maybe 10 subscribers, and I was lucky if it took a week to get, you know, a dozen views. Um, so, yeah, my opponent was some guy that I met on Smogun. Uh, I do not, he has a YouTube channel, he subbed me with it, but I do not know whether he's still active, whether he still watches. Um, I, Ari, if you're still around, I'd be really interested, interested to hear from you. Maybe we could have a rematch. Um, but yeah, so he already, you know, kind of ruined my day with that lovely kiss. This is the only time that I've ever seen lovely kiss in a battle, by the way. Um, yeah, with that lovely kiss to my Rotom. And I really wasn't was surprised at how fast he, his team was compared to me. Um, you know, I was really expecting to outrun some of these guys, um, but, you know, thinking back, I haven't watched this battle in a really long time, um, but I was thinking about this, and I was remembering that when I first came up with this team, as basically a sketch on a, uh, on a piece of paper, uh, I remember now that basically I was kind of against the idea of investing in speed with pretty much any of my Pokemon. I think probably Arcanine has some speed investment. But, you know, the idea that, well, you could take those EVs and put them in uh, the defenses, and in a doubles battle, you know, you don't really need to go first, right? I mean, there's four Pokemon on the field, right? Um, I just figured it would be a, a better metagame for slower, bulkier Pokemon, and that may be true, but speed still does matter, and um, as you can see with the fact that he put my Rotom to sleep, completely torpedoing my strategy, yeah, so here I was going for a heal bell in the attempt to wake him up. Um, that Lantern, I gotta say, is one of the consistent Pokemon that I'll have and I'll keep using until the day I stop playing Pokemon anymore. It's such a great Pokemon. Even, you know, people say that it's outclassed by uh, Rotom, in, uh, Rotom Wash form in this generation. Um, when you're talking about water uh, uh, electric types, but if you're just using Rotom or Lantern as a water electric type, it's kind of stupid, don't you think? Oh man, I'm just watching this battle and just looking at the chugging frame rate and the chug chug chug, the jerkiness of it all. Uh, and then, you know, compared to my recent PBR battles, when I got the new, um, you know, the new battle recorder um, hardware, it's just so much smoother and it looks just so much better. Um, I just, you know, yeah, these were not glory days at all. Uh, I would have to go through each recording and remove tons and tons and tons of black frames that uh, the recorder would produce for no apparent reason. I couldn't do a soundtrack, uh, or I mean, I couldn't do the whole um, sound effect soundtrack. I guess I could have, you know, done what I'm doing now with the whole you know, uploading random music. Yeah, so this music, by the way, um, Vermilion City by Pokemon Reorchestrated. Uh, the Vermilion City music has always been, like, my favorite of the original games. Um, it's just, it, to me, it's just so beautiful. I've had it stuck in my head. I've hummed it out loud in random places. Luckily, no one seems to have recognized it until they're just, or maybe I'm just humming, not humming it loud enough. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it, it's really beautiful to me, and I can't really tell you why other than just it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> he goes ahead and uses Trick Room. I guess I'd taken out his faster Pokemon. Um, and this is, I guess, the first real experience that I'd had with Trick Room, and I hadn't really realized how powerful it could be, and it wasn't just a gimmick. I mean, it's no coincidence that I transformed this team into a Trick Room team, and transformed, you know, and made, um, my OU team a Trick Room team. I mean, it's a really effective strategy, and especially for people who invest in speed, um, which, you know, I didn't. <laughs> 
but uh, that didn't really matter here. Uh, I didn't. I forgot that he used a Lapras in this battle. That's, that makes two Pokemon that were on this team that made their way onto my Jane team. That's my UU doubles team for PBR. That's actually still active, um, and you know, kind of the same strategies in the sense of Water Absorb on the um, on the Lantern, uh, not Lantern, Lapras. I hope I didn't say Lantern before. Um, and explode on uh, explosion on the uh, what you call it, Soul Rock. Um, although I don't use screens with my Soul Rock, uh, it's you know meant for maximum attack. Um, but yeah, this is kind of really interesting to watch because I didn't realize I, it was. I, it might have been subconscious because again, I don't really watch the battle too often. Um, that I'd chosen several of his Pokemon to put onto my team, but I guess this probably worked its way into my subconscious as, you know, a battle that, um, you know, this was how, a, this was a real Pokemon battle, or this was a real great trainer. Um, we had a rematch a few months later, I think, but I, I said, you know, I don't want to be shown up again, I'm not going to record, um, this is just for funs, funsies, and I'm pretty sure he won that one too, although by less of a margin. I think it was using my singles team, which would have been my Sam team at the time, although not the, not the one that you currently see and not the original one, it was, you know, somewhere in between. But, um, you know, it's been a long enough, and I think I've learned enough about Pokemon and about team building that I would really like to battle Ari again. I'm not sure if he's watching this, I really hope he is. Um, and if, if you are, Ari, please send me a PM, you know, leave a comment or something, and let me know whether you want to rematch either in PBR or Gen 5, I don't care which. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much the end of the battle. I've got a sleeping Rotom and nothing else, and, um, <laughs> I think I was crying in the original narration. Um, I think I, I dropped an F-bomb at some point, uh, but, and I hadn't yet figured out how to bleep successfully. Uh, I still don't really know how to bleep successfully, I just try not to curse. Um, but yeah, so this is the end of the battle, and um, I guess, you know, wow, it was it was an intense battle, and, you know, I'm just really glad that I didn't see this battle and just say, screw it, I'm not gonna I upload things to YouTube. Uh, instead, I decided to persevere, and I think I've grown a lot since then. I mean, you might disagree. I have had a lot of support from you guys, uh, and I really appreciate it, and I wouldn't do it without you, so I love you folks, and keep on watching.